Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. How are you today, my brothers and sisters? Hope you are doing well. I pray the uh, God, our God, will continue to uphold you and strengthen you. Praise the Lord. It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord. Yes, today, by God's grace and by the help of the Holy Spirit, our teacher, our helper and comforter, we're going to be looking at worshiping God in praises and in songs. Praise the Lord. Worshiping God through praises and song. Amen. You know, the Bible says God inhabits the praises of his people. He dwells. God dwells in our praises. So God wants to hear us sing every day. Praise the Lord. The trees and the uh, seas, the, the animals, they praise the Lord. Every day the trees, they clap their hands. So why would I praise the Lord? Hallelujah. <laughs> praise Jesus. We give glory. We give honor. We give adoration. So we're going to look at the scriptures. Let's first of all look at Colossians. What does Colossians say about praising God, singing songs, making melody unto God in our hearts? Hallelujah. <laughs> wow. Colossians 3.13 says, Hold on. Colossians 3.13 says, Let the word of God dwell richly. Let the word of God dwell in you richly. Amen. In all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Amen. Singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Amen. See the scripture saying, sing unto the Lord. Make melody to the Lord. Sing with grace in your hearts, psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Amen. Also, let's look at uh, Hebrew 13, 15. Therefore, by him, let us continually, continually, amen, offer the sacrifice of praises of to God. Let me take that again. Therefore, by him, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of our lips. Amen. Giving thanks to his name. Hallelujah. <laughs> Giving thanks to his name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So the Bible is um, admonishing us to give thanks continually, no stopping. Hey, I'm just gonna praise him. I'm gonna praise him. Hey, you see, God wants us to sing praises to him. We are created for his glory, for his pleasure, to give thanks to him all the time. But you know what? Sometimes we get so caught up in a lot of stars and we are into ourselves. We don't want to give thanks. I remember one time that, you know, I went somewhere. The Lord asked me to go somewhere and coming back, it was really very bad. So I got home. I was like angry with myself, angry with God. And just, I was, and bad enough, there was rain. It rained and I was soaked to the paint. And I got home. I was angry, hungry. <laughs> And no, the Lord told me, praise me. Like, what? <laughs> I wasn't feeling that way. I wasn't in the mood. But I, I, I pray, I like, God, forgive me. I like, you know, because I know my heart was not really in it. But I said, Lord, help me, help me, God. I need you to help me to praise you. And the Holy Spirit just began to stir up, gave me a song in my heart. And I began to praise God. I began to praise God, and by the time I was done, hallelujah, I felt so at peace, so restful, so calm, and, you know, all the body, all the anger, everything just kind of rolled away, and I just thank God. The Bible said, give thanks to the Lord in all things, in all things, 
even when the situation seems, I mean, bad, terrible, <laughs> yes, the Bible says we should give thanks to the Lord. We should give thanks to the Lord because we don't know what God is doing on the background. The Bible says all things work together for our good, you know, for those who love God and are called according to his purpose. So praise the Lord. The Bible says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So God wants us to praise him. Yes, I pray the Lord will give us the understanding that we need to praise the Lord all the times in our hearts, in our spirit. Let's praise the Lord. How do we praise God? In spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. In spirit and in truth, that's the way we praise the Lord. So, but it's so sad that many Christian churches today, we don't even sing hymns anymore. I love hymns. I must tell Jesus, wow. To God be the glory, great things he has done. Hallelujah. <laughs> Immortal, invisible God, only wise. Yes, I love that. Oh, hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate for him. Hallelujah. God wants us to sing hymns and psalms. Praise him with symbol and dance. Praise him with symbol and dance. You know, God wants us to sing. In Psalm 100, it says that come to his presence with thanksgiving. Come to his gates with, 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 with praise. Let, let's look at Psalm 100. Hallelujah. <clears throat> it says, make a joyful shout to the Lord all your lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Sometimes we go to some churches, everybody's like, mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. I pray the Lord will help us. God wants us to be glad. Yes, the, the week might have been so bad, and, but just come into his presence with gladness, with thanksgiving, with joy. It's by the spirit. It's not by the flesh. Yes, this flesh doesn't want to praise God. Mm -hmm. But when we ask the Holy Spirit to help us, we're ready to go to praise him. I pray the Lord will give us the grace to praise him all the time. In verse 4 of Psalm 100, it said, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. This is how we start to praise God. We enter his gates with thanksgiving. Lord, I thank you for your love for me, for the uh, gift of life, for your for the hair I breathe in. Yes. For the clothing, for the food I eat, for the sun that, sh that shines. Mm -hmm. We give thanks to him. Then we come into his court to praise him, to dance, to worship him. You are not dancing, you know weirdly or just emotion or sometimes some people dance and you just know this is emotion and it's not even <laughs> but we dance you know in the spirit worshiping god you know worshiping him with our spirit our soul and our body praise the lord i pray the lord will give us grace there was a time i went to a church and i joined the choir and they were, i was like praising god they were like Oh, we don't raise hands in our church. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> and that was the last time I, I ministered with the choir. I, I, I was going to the rehearsal. I was going for the rehearsal, but no. <laughs> I would just sit down at the back of the church. I'm like, come on, Jesus, praise the Lord. I worship you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. I worship God. I'm not, I don't want to distract anybody. Do I do. I praise him. According to the spirit, according to the scriptures. And sometimes you go on your knees, you praise God. It's all in the scriptures. The Bible says, lift up your hands. Worship the name of the Lord. Psalm 134 says, lift up your hands. Bless the Lord. You servant of the Lord, lift up your hands and, and, and praise his holy name. Hallelujah. So this is how God wants us to praise him. I pray the Lord will give us more understanding. So why why do we sing in church? God commands it. We read from Colossians. We read from Colossians. It says that we should sing unto the Lord. 
in psalms we should admonish one another in psalms in hymns spiritual songs sing, singing with grace in our hearts it's god's commandment that we should worship him and we'll see david in his psalms praising god praising god in all situations david went through a lot of warfare but in spite of that he continually praised the lord praise the lord i don't know what you're going through but just Take time to worship God. Take, take time to praise Him. It's not about your voice. You don't have to have the, the best voice. No, just sing. Open your mouth. God wants us. He said that that is the fruit of our lips. The fruit. That's the fruit of our lips. We we'll praise God. God wants to hear our voice. You don't need to be expert. No, worship Him in spirit and truth and what does it mean to sing with understanding you know uh paul was saying sing in the spirit and sing with understanding when you sing sing in the spirit you sing um um uh, in tongues yeah the holy spirit give you a gift of speaking in tongues yes there's also gift of singing in tongue hallelujah but then you sing with understanding you sing in a language that you know that you understand your own maybe mother tongue or maybe English or any other language and you understand what you're saying like praise the Lord for he is good and his mercy is endured forever I will praise the Lord I'm singing in English I understand what I'm saying that is singing with understanding god wants us to speak sing in the spirit but not everybody understands singing in the spirit so when you're in in a church in a congregation you don't want people to look at you and like what she's saying but you want to speak you want to sing in, with understanding praise the lord but when you're on your own go on and sing sing in the spirit hallelujah so does our body also involve in singing yes we dance. The Bible says Psalm 150. Praise the Lord with symbol, with dancing. Lift up your hands, holy servant of the Lord, who will come by night to the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands to the holy hill. Our body is also involved when we worship the Lord. Sometimes we go on our knees to worship the Lord. You go on your face because God is worthy. The Bible says in heaven, when the uh, 24 headers and the bee and the four creatures, when they praise the Lord, they they bow down. You know, they bow down their head. They went, they go on their knees and bow their heads unto God. God deserves, you know, our... Uh, uh, our body should be offered unto God in praises. So when you're worshiping, we should allow the Holy Spirit to lead us. If you want to lift your hand, lift your hand. If you want to go on your knees, do that. Praise the Lord. But most of the time when we're in church, we're too self-conscious. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Or sometimes we just get out of hand and, you know. In fact, we see a lot of entertainment this day in the church and that hurts not to be people should be taught how to worship god in spirit and in truth and also the kind of music we play in church today it's 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 outrageous as in some of the beats is just <laughs> not it and you know god is, is not happy with some of the music we sing today, we kind of copy the worldly sound, worldly music, and bring them into the church. Mm -mm. We need to repent and praise the Lord as the Spirit, you know, guides us and leads us. Amen. And we have, what kind of song can we sing to God? We have, um, the Bible says, sermon, hymns spiritual songs is that what we are singing today many churches are no longer singing hymns psalms they're no longer singing it spiritual songs <sighs> sometimes you listen to in fact i was singing a, a song i supposedly think it's uh spiritual but the lord told me no don't sing that song because you know the person that sang the song is no longer working with the lord when you listen to the song, you think it's a gospel song. But I think 
the person that is singing the song is just in word in worldliness, and so the the, the, the song is not um, accepted unto God. So. We need to worship God in spirit and in truth and also in holiness and righteousness. The Bible says that we should um, worship God in, in his beauty of holiness. Holiness in, in, is important. Praise the Lord. There are religious songs. There are, um, you know, um, inspiration or I will call it mm, 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 motivational songs. Though there, there's God in it and all that, but they are not necessarily spiritual songs. They are motivational songs and religious songs. But when we listen to uh, spiritual songs, they are songs that are inspired by the Spirit. And if you are in the Spirit, when you listen to that song, you, 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 you'll be moved by the Spirit to worship God. And so, how do we identify this, my brothers and sisters? <laughs> that's that's a question too. That is, that I don't really know how to ask. Except the Lord help us. We have to be discerning because most gospel songs that we listen today, many of them have been dedicated to Satan. That is it. That's the truth. Because when I was singing this um, song, I thought it was a gospel song. The Lord rebuked me that I should stop singing it. Yes, many of the gospel singer they are. Because they want to be famous, they have dedicated their songs, their life to the devil. So when they sing it and pour the song, start singing in the church, hmm, we need to be discerning for us to, to understand that this song. Most importantly, I want us to look at the lifestyle of the singer. When you are singing a gospel song, look at the gospel singer. You can be a, a, a singer, a good notable, wonderful, excellent singer, but not necessary a worshiper. Praise the Lord. Not necessary a worshiper. A worshiper worship in spirit and in truth and in holiness, in righteousness of God. But a singer, yes, you can be a gospel singer, but you're not singing in holiness and you're not singing in spirit. Hallelujah. I pray the Lord will give us the grace. And another thing, Worshipping God praises is a spiritual weapon to battle the devil. So if you are not worshipping according to the spirit and in holiness, <laughs> the devil is gonna is just gonna be laughing at us. Yes. So it's a spiritual um, weapon of warfare. Remember Joshua when the wall of Jericho, when they were at Jericho. God used praises to bring down the wall of Jericho. And many times in my life, the Lord will just tell me, just praise me, just praise, praise me. This battle is over. And as I praise the Lord, the Lord works his wonder. Hallelujah. I praise the Lord. We help us. Does God sing? Let's look at it. God sings. Hallelujah. Zephaniah 3, 17 says, The Lord your God in your midst, the mighty one, will save hallelujah he will rejoice over you with gladness amen he will quiet you with his love he will rejoice over you with singing praise the lord so god sings god sings hallelujah he sings over us and so he wants us to dance when god sings you better dance <laughs> hallelujah God bless you, my brothers and sisters. The Lord will continue to help us to rejoice. We need to pray for God to give us garment of praise, spirit of praise, grace to worship him because the devil don't want us to worship. God bless you. I'll be strong in the Lord and the power of his might.